Daily English conversation topics, Part Five. What is the most impressive competition you've entered? What are you doing? I'm preparing something for my competition tomorrow. What's the competition? A competition to make handmade items in my school. That's interesting. Have you ever entered any competition? Of course. What is the most impressive competition you've entered? A cooking competition. Sounds great. Yes, I had a lot of fun. What did you do in this competition? I baked a cake. I felt like I was a master chef. <laughs> did you win? No, I got the third prize. That was still great. Exactly. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Why do you want to go shopping today? Because I need to buy something for tomorrow. What is this? It's my close friend's wedding. Oh, I got it. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Yes, my sister's wedding. Wow, what did you feel? I still remember that day. How? I was so nervous. I don't know why. Really? Yes. And when I saw my sister in a beautiful white dress, I cried. Why? It was a happy day. Maybe it was happy crying. I was so happy when my sister got married to the person who loved her. Oh, you are so sweet. <laughs> no way. I am also quite nervous and a bit excited <laughs> because I want to see how beautiful my friend is tomorrow. Ah,、oh, that's great. Is there a garden that you like? Tomorrow, I will plant some kinds of flowers in my garden. Great. Can you give me a hand with it? Of course, I'm always willing to. Good. Have you ever visited any gardens? Sure, I love gardening. Are there any gardens that you like? Yes. Do you know Jenny's garden? I know it. Yes. This is it. I'm really interested in her garden. Really? What did she plant? A lot of flowers. That's amazing. What kind of flowers? Roses. Full of red roses. I love this kind of flower. Oh, I haven't seen her garden. I will visit it later. How about visiting Jenny's house now? Good idea. Let's go. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? How did you get there? I went in a friend's car. Do you usually use a car to move? No. I usually use a motorbike when I was in my country. What is the most popular means of transport in your country? In Indonesia, the motorbike is the most popular because of its convenience and flexibility. Really? 
Yes, when I came to New York to study, I prefer to take the bus. Right, in America, using the bus is quite suitable for students like us. We also have buses in Indonesia. I know. I thought it would be inconvenient, but I was wrong. A lot of people use it every day. What is your favorite advertisement? I have a survey about advertising. Can I ask you something? Sure. What is your favorite advertisement? Me? I think the best one is the Pepsi advertisement. Wow. Why do you like that? Because I like this kind of drink. What impresses you most when you see this advertisement? I was really impressed by the way they use the color in this. Why? It makes me feel free and full of energy. It mixes blue, red, and white. Do you have something you don't like? No, I am satisfied with it. Okay, thank you so much for your supportive answer. Don't mention it. What is your favorite item of clothing? Oh, I have nothing to wear. What? Your wardrobe is full. I know, but nothing is suitable for tomorrow. What are you going to do? I have an interview. Ah, uh, I got it. But I see in your wardrobe a lot of items. You can choose one. Yes, it's full, but I think it's not formal enough. What is your favorite item of clothing? You can see dresses. I have a lot of dresses. Ah, uh, you can't wear a dress like that to the interview. Exactly. So you can wear my clothes. You can pick one. Really? Ah,、oh, thanks. No problem. You can choose anything if it's suitable. I think trousers would be better. Yes. What project did you work on? You seem to be busy lately. Exactly. I have finished a big project. What project did you work on? A project for a new product. What is it about? My company is a fashion company, and winter is coming, so we have to prepare for new coats. Wow, interesting. Yes. Quite interesting, but we've worked hard. No pain, no gain. I know. We've finished it, and maybe this new product will be introduced to the market soon. I am a big fan of products from your company. Thanks. All things I've bought are really good quality and affordable. I'm happy to hear that. Of course, I will buy this new product when it is on sale in the store. Next month, I think. Okay. What's your favorite coffee shop? We have time today. What will we do? Do you want to go to the coffee shop? That's a great idea. I'm a big fan of coffee, so I know a lot of coffee shops. 
What's your favorite coffee shop? Do you know Lavender's Coffee on Wall Street? I have heard about that. It appears a lot in some review coffee pages. Yes. It's my favorite one. Does it taste good? For me, it's very good. I love the cappuccino at this place. I also love cappuccino. And this coffee shop also has a beautiful view. Can we take some photos there? Of course. Great, Jane. Let's go. Okay. Where is your hometown? It is a surprise because we met for the first time, but we talk very well. <laughs> I am also surprised too. Ah,、uh, I forgot to ask. Where is your hometown? I am from Paris. Wow, great! I love Paris. Have you ever visited there? Yes. I visited once. I have always wanted to go to Paris again. I'm very happy to hear that. When I go to Paris, can you recommend some places for me? Of course. I'm sure you have heard about the Eiffel Tower. Right. I really miss it. I'm willing to be your tour guide when you go to Paris. Maybe on a holiday, or on a business trip. Whenever you come, call me. Okay. Which culture do you belong to? Wow, today you look so nice. Thanks. It's our traditional custom. What is this name? It's Hanbok. That's great. Now you are exactly a Korean girl. I want to bring my country's culture to my school's cultural festival. Which culture do you belong to? Asian culture. Of course, Asian culture, because Korea belongs to Asia. Right. What is special about Asian culture? There are many special features, but in general, each country in Asia has its own characteristics. I got it. Are there any similarities? Of course. For example, we have some traditional occasions: Lunar New Year or. Mid-autumn festival. I have heard about that, but I don't know much. Because you belong to European culture. Can you tell me more about that later? I am so curious. Sure, I'm willing to. Thank you so much. No problem. I'm so happy when you are interested in my culture. Who is your favorite politician? The lecture about politicians today was very interesting. That's right. I have learned a lot about politicians. Who is your favorite politician? Barack Obama. He is the former president of the United States. Right. I remember that he was the forty-fourth president. Exactly, I admire him too. Every president is incredibly intelligent and decisive. So he is. Yes, and he is loved by everyone because of his personality. What is he like? He is friendly, 
and sociable. I have heard some of his inspirational quotes. I love them. Some of them encourage me a lot. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye. Hey, Lily, over here. Oh, hi, Beth. Long time no see. How have you been? It's nice to see you again, Lily. I'm doing fine. How about you? Do you work or study? I'm okay. I graduated last year and I'm now in full time employment. And you? I didn't go to college. I went straight to cooking classes and finding jobs. And now I'm working as a chef at a restaurant downtown. What is your job? I'm currently an English teacher working for Boston High School in New York. Oh, that's great! Why did you choose that job? I was previously a lawyer and found it to be stressful and never had any free time. So after quitting that job, I thought teaching might be not as stressful and more time off. Was teaching your passion? Yes, since I was a child, but my family directed me to study law. And now that I'm older, I found out what I really wanted. I remember cooking is also your passion, right? Yes, but lucky for me, my family supports my dream in my career. Do you enjoy your job? Most of the time. It's very rewarding to be able to help people every day, and the students here are very hardworking and fun to teach. Working at a restaurant is exhausting, but people are so nice to me. Do you get on well with your coworkers? Yes, fine. I don't really see work as a part of my social life, so I don't socialize with them. I think it's more professional to be that way. What was your first day like? There were lots of teachers starting at the same time as me, so we all had a big induction day. The senior teachers ran workshops with us to familiarize us with the systems they had, and then we went for a work team dinner in the evening. My first day at work was like any other day at the restaurant. I started working right away, and I have a supervisor to help me with the work. It was scary at first. What responsibilities do you have at work? All of the teacher's main responsibility is to plan good lessons and then teach them. On top of that, we have several admin tasks like mark homework, fill out attendance sheets, and write reports. I'm on the dessert part of the kitchen staff team, so I have to prepare fruits, baking cakes all the day, but I love my job. Would you change your job in the future? Yes, I like working by myself, so I would like to be my own boss. I want to open my restaurant. What is your typical day like at work? I start the day by doing all the planning at home before going to work around three to print off my materials and then I teach all evening. What would you change about your job? I would like to have more freedom to teach outside the syllabus. I get it. At the restaurant, they want me to follow the recipes, but I want to put my ideas into baking. What is the most important part of your work? I think that dealing with customers will be the most important part of my work. I learn to be polite and keep smiling, even with some of the more challenging customers. I know, I have to deal with some tough students' parents and some stubborn kids, but most of the time the kids are nice. It's great seeing you doing what you love. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, me too. And good luck with your dream plan. Thanks. Hey Nick, it's Dave. Hey, what's up? Tomorrow is my first day of work at Global Complex, and I need some advice on how to make the best first impression. Your first day of work is very important. It's foundational and sets a good start for your job going forward. How is the first day of work often like? The first day is typically when you'll see your work area, learn your workflow and schedule, meet your coworkers, get familiar with different areas of your office or building. Do I have to dress up? Yes, dress up to make a good impression and ensure you're meeting the company's dress code.
If everyone around you is dressed more casually, you can adjust your clothing choices in later days. How early should I go? Rush hour traffic could make your commute take longer than a typical trip to the same area, and showing up for your job early is much better than being late. Are there any important documents that I should pay attention to? You need to review employment contracts and take care of paperwork such as tax forms, your new employer's health insurance coverage, retirement plans, vacation policy. I don't know if I should ask many questions. Asking questions now will help you avoid mistakes in the future. Being inquisitive also shows that you want to do well in your new position. Okay, and should I make friends at work? Making friends will encourage your coworkers to think of you as one of the team. A good friend could also help you advance your career. How should I do it? Smile, be cheerful, and introduce yourself to as many of your new coworkers as you can. During breaks, start conversations by asking which restaurants or coffee shops are nearby. I can do that. And eating lunch is a great way to make friends and find out more about the people you'll be working with. I will make friends with people who can help me most. I can get useful advice about how to succeed at my new job. That's a good idea. Learning from the right coworkers is important. You should listen to people's conversations carefully and watch their behavior. Okay, I will do that. Remember to pay attention to your body language. Sit or stand up straight to avoid signs of nervousness or boredom, such as touching your hair, tapping your foot, or yawning. I will have a supervisor. I'm so nervous around the boss. If your supervisor sends you an email or tells you to come to their office, respond immediately. This demonstrates both respect and enthusiasm. Okay, but what if I made a mistake? Most employers understand if you make a few minor mistakes on your first day of work. Remember that you'll have a chance to do better tomorrow. Okay, is that all? The last thing is saying goodbye when you leave. Thank your supervisor for hiring you. And let them know that you enjoyed the first day. What if they feel talkative? What should I say? I'm so shy. You can talk to them about your day and how you plan to handle future projects. Wish them a good night and tell them that you look forward to seeing them tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for your help. You make me feel less worried. No problem. Text me if you need any help. Thanks. Oh, hi Karen. What a surprise bumping into you here. Hi Alex. I'm doing grocery shopping. You too? Yes, I'm buying snacks and fruits for my kids. How are you? I'm having a little bit of a situation here. My five-year-old son doesn't like fruit or any kind of vegetable. How do you teach your kids to eat healthy food? You should make an effort to incorporate a range of fruits and vegetables Yay! of different hues into their diet. Make eating colorful. That's a great idea. You should teach him healthy habits slowly every day. Kids pick up your habits too, both good and bad. What should I start with? Make half your meals fruits and vegetables. And don't worry if he doesn't start eating yet. Keep serving balanced meals. Okay. And I'm worried that his habit of eating ice cream may cause some health problems. Reduce added sugars. Added sugar has been linked to childhood obesity, chronic diseases, behavior problems, and more. How should I do that? Drink water. Kids don't need sweetened drinks. What kind of protein would he would need? Seafood, poultry, lean beef, eggs, dairy, beans, peas, nuts, and seeds are all good protein sources to include in a child's diet. Okay. Is any other food good for babies? Whole wheat, brown rice, oatmeal, and even popcorn are all whole grain foods that deliver fiber and B vitamins in addition to an energy boost. But many healthy foods like whole grain bread and peanut butter are processed, 
Should I avoid it? No, but do try to limit highly processed foods, which include artificial dyes, preservatives, refined fats and flours, and added sugars. Okay, I will try to cook from scratch using whole ingredients. Trust me, I have four kids at a young age. They all need our guide to form a healthy lifestyle. Can you help me, please? This is my first kid, and I'm kind of lost. Sure. Start with limited screen time. Children are growing up immersed in the digital world, and parents play an important role in teaching their children how to use screen time healthily. But my kid likes watching TV. Make your own family media use plan. Set limits. Overuse of media can lead to a sedentary lifestyle and displace important social interactions. Exercise and even sleep. Should I make him play outside? What if he doesn't like playing sports? If he sees you being active and finds physical activities he enjoys, staying healthy and active becomes easy. Expose him to a range of physical activities like swimming, archery, or gymnastics. He is bound to find something he enjoys. He is still a kid. Should I start teaching him how to read? Developing strong reading skills is an essential component of your child's success in school now and at work later in life. Really? Yes. Reading helps build a child's self-esteem, relationships with parents and others, and success later in life. Okay, I will make sure reading is a part of his playtime and bedtime routines. Doctors suggest that daily reading to children can begin as early as six months of age. How can I make reading interesting for him? Choose books your kid likes so that he views reading as a treat rather than a chore. I will set up playdates for him with activities like reading and playing at the park. Hmm, yes, good idea. Friendships are very important. Playing with friends teaches kids valuable social skills, such as communication, cooperation, and problem solving. Great! There are many kids in our neighborhood. I will find kids his age. Encourage your kid to develop a variety of friendships and to play with friends often. It will set him up with life skills he can draw on for years to come. Thank you so much for your advice. I will start teaching him right away. Good luck. Call me if you have any questions. Hi, Joan. It's nice to see you. I've been wanting to talk to you. Oh, hi, Amy. What's up? The thing is, I admire your healthy body, and I want your advice on having a better, healthier lifestyle. Sure, that's great. A healthy person eats a balanced diet, drinks adequate water, and does the right amount of exercise. But I'm busy with work and family. I think people who live healthily always have one thing in common. They manage to strike a balance between work and life, between exercise and diet. What's your secret to achieving that goal? Even when you're too busy, try to do some exercise or have some entertainment. You don't need to go to the gym and spend two hours doing physical activities. Maybe I will have a small break from work and do some stretching exercises. Yes, try not to sit too much. Nowadays, societies are built in such a way that they are ideal for healthy living. Yes, in my neighborhood, we have plenty of greenery, a gym, park, swimming pools, etc. Yes, you can go for a morning walk, work out in the gym, and start your day. In the evenings, you can spend time in the parks. Okay, and I can bring my kids, and they will have these healthy habits. And diet is also very important. How important? More important than we would probably ever know. 
After all, it is the balanced diet that keeps nourishing each and every cell of our body by providing a variety of nutrition from the different food groups. But what is a balanced diet? Specifically, vegetables and fruits, protein like meat, fish, eggs, beans, soy, dairies like low-fat milk, cheese, yogurt, carbohydrates like rice, pasta, potatoes, and bread, and a small number of healthy fats. Wow, I didn't think much about the food I consume. I don't know, it's pretty complicated. Anyway, a balanced diet is important for maintaining a healthy lifestyle because it provides all kinds of important vitamins, minerals, and nutrients to keep the body and mind strong and healthy. I will try to cook balanced and clean meals for my family. I know food can be very tempting, but try to stick to healthy food, food that you know is hygienic and carefully prepared. So I have to cut down the pizzas and hot dogs and tacos? No, once in a while we can give ourselves a nice little treat, like the cheese pizza I had yesterday. Okay, I will try. Drink a lot of water too. Cut down on sugary drinks and caffeine. I will ensure that I eat a nutritious diet and have a water bottle on my table. Good. Stick to all of those rules and your health will be much better. Thank you so much. I will try to turn it into habits. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.